Right, guys, now we've done the first game, tested out the, uh, the, Panzer, the Tiger 1's gun, the L-71, on the Tiger 2. It's effective, but you could do with more. We've shown that the armour is good, and even the turret is very bouncy. So if you get it right, the, this tank is built about the, uh, the gun. So the first thing that we uh, the upgrade is to the, uh, the L-72. L-52. So... I didn't have it because I went straight for the uh, the bigger gun, but I'll show you what this one's like. So it looks slightly bigger, so it's the same, same length, but it's 10.5. So I'm just going to uh, to equip it. So the, the first thing that you upgrade is that that first gun, and the, the turrets, the tracks, everything copes with the weight. And it's 59.19 uh, of 69.7 tons. So you can, do, you can get the gun on without even upgrading the tracks. You don't need the new engine. It's, let's check out the uh, the weights. Right, that's uh, three tons. Whereas uh, you, so you've just increased the weight by half a ton approximately. So that you'll lose slightly power to weight ratio. So let's check out the power to weight ratio. Nine point three nine. So just to uh, to balance things out, I'm going to put in like I do chocolate and one oh five octane to make you that little bit more mobile around the battlefield. Let's get some ammo in, stick it down to about four shots. Move that up just in case. Get it off gold. Change that from gold to credits. And then you're ready to rock. So, make sure this is recording. So, let's get straight into a uh, battle, and I will show you what the, the Tiger 2 can do now with this, uh, with this big, with a 10.5 rather than the 88. So, get this next and then grind it with this gun. So we're still top tier, we'll see how the armour works. 23% win, win chance, but ignore that. All you do is target their main players, take their main players out one, one at a time. I'm not even sure what the uh, the penetration is with this gun, so I'm going to have to check the uh, the ammo in a second, because it's so long since I've played it. So bear with me a second, and I, I'll have a quick look as soon as we get in. But yeah, so that's it. The first thing, the, the, the t Tiger 1 and Tiger 2s, in fact, yeah, Tiger 1, Tiger 2, and then the E75 later is all built around that gun. So the ma the first thing you do, ignore the armor. As soon as you can upgrade to the gun, the basically they were just gun carriers, at which they put armor on. So out. that's what they are. So stick with them. Use the, uh, let's have a look at the mobility. 14, 16, came out to 20, 25. So imagine if I hadn't put the, uh, the other consumables on, we're up to code 38, slightly slower going uphill, so we're, we're almost keeping up with a T21, what is this about, so rather than getting too close, oops, I'm going to go around this side, do sniping shots, hopefully he's not going to show himself, I'll get sniping shots in, let's check out the ammo, right, 200 and 244, but it's a 10.5 centimetre gun. So, we've got a bit of view range, we're coming up to being able to see on the hill. We're very, very bouncy, and if you can use these um, these ridges to actually angle your tank more, get behind a bush, wait for someone to be spotted, and get ready. Move up, support the team. We don't want to get spotted too badly, but we want to be able to get shots in when they're seen. So, angle. Get the angling right. We didn't go through. The pa Indian Panzer is very, very bouncy. And that's one lucky little badger. We didn't Let's go to premium. We're going to be losing, otherwise I don't, I don't want to waste any more shots. Three hundred and twenty. It's nice to have that extra damage. Oh yeah, he thinks he's safe, and he's dead. We didn't even scratch them. Let's keep those shots going in. Penetration 
location. Stay at range, use the gun. It's a, it's a long range sniping gun. We didn't even scratch them. Okay, the, fr the upper front plate isn't so easy as it was before. Try the lower plate, that didn't go. So let's try this area up the top. Just missed. But we're pushing them back. Let's try again. We didn't penetrate their armor. Here's a lucky little badger. I don't know why we're losing so badly. The, the guys are pushing when they shouldn't be pushing. Critical hit. Cause a critical on his optics, but no pens. We didn't penetrate their armor. Get the angle plate. Get the low plate. Keep the gun singing. Don't know how I missed, but hey. Yeah, very bouncy. They're pushing for me. I'm pulling back, they've managed to flank. Using extra mobility that they haven't got to get the crap out of dodge. Target acquired. Penetration. On the floor. We can't reload as fast. I'm trying to get the crap out of the way. Stay stay low. Use the hill. Target unlocked. We're done for. Everyone get out. Just a pity the, the rest of the team didn't um, do so well. But as you see, if the the gun itself is really fantastic and being able to so the use the gun the this tank is built around the gun just keep it firing let's see how we did in comparison to the rest of the team let's see when it settles down let's have a look okay second on damage two, 2200 284 experience could have been a lot better they just charged in they just didn't stay at range they didn't they just went yolo so yeah and i end up having to to try and save them using lots of spamming lots of premium to be able to make up for it so sadly the tank itself should, it works you how many did uh, did we bounce let's have a look uh bounced took five yeah bounced two so it's it bouncy enough it can bounce some shots if you're in the right position but if i didn't have to uh, turn around, expose my rear and the back of my turret, I'd have been okay. I'd have bounced a lot more of those shots. So while I was facing the enemy, keep this face front to the enemy. But if your team falls over and allows them to flank you, you're dead, you know. But if if they hadn't fallen over, if they haven't YOLO'd, if they hadn't uh, gone straight in, we'd have been, you know, we could have easily... We, we, were, we were winning that, and then they charged. So, yeah, sad about the team. EU2... No wonder with... Uh, yeah, so it happens. But you just make the most you can. So two and a quarter thousand, it, that could have been a 3,000 point game the way it was going. If the team hadn't fallen over so much, we'd have kept on pushing, kept the gun firing. I'm sure that would have been a 3,000 point uh, damage game at least. So yeah, the tank itself is fantastic. This 10.5 is well worth getting. So you saw the shots I was putting straight through the front of the, yeah, the IS-6. And that's not uh, an easy thing to do. So, yeah, it's, this gun is worthwhile. It's a nice gun. You'll enjoy it. And then you keep working with this 10.5. So as soon as you can uh, 
upgrade from the L71 to the L52, get it, and then next move up to this bad boy. This is the real one that the uh, the tank needs to have. But to do that, you've got to upgrade the uh, carrying capacity. But you're able to get enhanced torsion bars. So rather than buying the other uh, tracks, you could remove the the vents for gold or else if you know you're going to be do th doing that don't get the vents yet save save them put the torsion bars on which will then allow you to m immediately mount this 10.5 gun so and that's where we're going to go with the uh, the next evolution of this so see you on the next one guys